Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and in this video I'm playing Terraria on the PC, uh, specifically the Calamity mod. Now the Calamity mod is one of the most popular mods out there, and um, I'm also pairing it with a couple other mods as well. Um, just like quality of life mods such as Vein Miner, Auto Doors, um, Sleeping from 1.4, a bunch of that stuff. I'll have all the mods I'm using down in the description below. Uh, there's some tin over here so I can show off Vein Miner. Uh, as you can see, if I hold down the button this time, it destroys the whole vein. So yeah, I really don't have much experience on Terraria PC in general. I've beaten the game multiple times on Xbox, um, just not on PC. And it's definitely actually a lot easier, which I'm happy about because I thought it was going to be a bit of a learning curve to, you know, get used to the controls. But first of all, let's activate Revengeance mode. Because this is Calamity, and we can do that. Revengers is not activated. Okay, now it's active. There we go, that's what we want. I'm kind of running away from these slimes right now, because I don't do much damage. Yeah, so this is a large world. Corruption, as you can see at the right. If I move a little farther. See the corruption? Um, we can use Vein Miner again to get this iron. Nice. Yeah, so this is my first time playing Calamity as well. Um, I got Terraria on the PC specifically to play this mod. So that's nice. Um, I haven't uploaded in a couple months. Um, I used to upload Hypixel Skyblock videos, um, Minecraft videos in general. Which, as you can see, I'm not doing that anymore. I might still get into that eventually. I might still upload Hypixel Skyblock videos. And wow. What a way to start off the series. But yeah, I'm probably going to stick to Terraria, at least for a little while. But uh, let me know what you think of this video in the comment section down below. Let me know if you want to see more of Terraria and all that good stuff. Uh, since this is the first episode of the series, uh, I really don't have anything to do besides, you know, explore. Those Wolfron things are freaking me out at the moment. Yeah, I just don't have the equipment to take out that thing right now. That's fine. Oh, I could use the starter bag. I don't know if I want to use all of it, but okay, that's a lot of stuff. I might use some of it. I just want to be able to look at my inventory without getting attacked. Is that too much to ask for? I'm trying to figure out what I want to use and what I don't want to use. I'll just use these bricks for now, but... I don't think I want to use any of the weapons here. Because I think that's just a little... A little cheaty and overpowered. Not necessarily overpowered, but just a little cheap. I want to make this Let's Play as legit as possible. Uh, I will use the Mana Star though. I'll keep the potions and the bombs and all the other stuff that you get. You got these things, so those change the game mode and some certain settings and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's already nighttime. It's, uh, time is going pretty fast here. Should probably build a house. Since it's already night, I'm probably going to build the house fairly quickly. It's not going to be anything special. Yeah, well, I'm getting overrun by slimes or everywhere. I did say I wasn't getting used to weapons, but, uh, I think I'll use the co copper broadsword, it's just a lot nicer. I really can't go over there just simply because of the, um, the corruption. I want to go to the left. It looked like there was a cavern, which uh, would be really nice to actually get. You know, get some ores, get some life crystals, get some chests, all that good stuff. Maybe even some new calamity stuff. I don't really know what spawns in the... Um, in the underground chest, but you can find out. Yeah, if you look at the map, it does look like it goes down further than we can see. Why not just take fall damage there? Am I immune? Okay. Yeah, there's no, no cave here. I have rope. No, I'm just gonna make platforms. Lower some platforms down so I can get up. 
There we go. All these everywhere. Though I do want to go Summoner for this playthrough. Um, you know, Summoner in the base game isn't that great. It's definitely a lot better with the 1.4, but I think it's still slightly worse than the other classes. But in Calamity, Summoner is actually a very viable option. It's pretty good. Like, I did play a little bit of this mod already. Um, I barely played it though, like I didn't even beat any bosses. I just wanted to get a feel for it. Uh, I did not want to do that. Um, I got a couple basic starter summer weapons, which I think I'm gonna get again. Just because they're super easy and then... They're pretty good too. At least for dealing with early game moms. Yeah, these torches. Ooh, that's a lot of iron, I'm gonna get that. Zombies everywhere. I think it's the Revengeance mode. Because Revengeance mode is basically just expert mode on steroids. Quite difficult. The basic mobs aren't that hard to deal with. I feel like that's comparable to expert mode. But the bosses in this game are supposed to be insane. I've never fought any, but supposedly from what I've read, this mod is very difficult in terms of bosses. Yeah, his demon eyes are tough, especially when I don't have any good stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go in that tree, get a chest. Hopefully I can get an accessory, because that's all I really want. Um just make our way over there. What kill any Wolfrons that I see? Because there is Wolfron armor. There's a couple of different I think it's um for all classes, Wolfron armor is. Like, you have to craft the specified headgear. Kind of like titanium armor. In the vanilla. So I do want to get the summoner Wolfron set. Maybe beat the Eye of Cthulhu. Actually, we'll probably start with the King Slime, because I already have the spawner for it. Start with it in the, um, starter bag, so. Open this chest. That silver is definitely good. And recall potions as well. I'm not going to complain about that. I'm going to leave the chest because I just really don't look like how those uh, living chests look. But yeah. As you know, I haven't uploaded in like two to three months. Um, it's been quite rough. I haven't. This is my first video in my new house actually. I just recently moved. Uh, a month ago, moved into this house, so that's kind of cool. I actually sold that. Well, I didn't do anything for the house. I'm 14, but uh, yeah, we sold the house really quickly. We didn't think it was gonna happen. Right, uh, and I'm in a pit of zombies. Yeah, I definitely want to go over to the left. doesn't look like there's corruption on the map. I thought I might have saw corruption on the map, but it doesn't look like it. I think it's just because the trees weren't completely loaded in yet. Iron Heart. I thought I got an accessory or something for a second. But nope, it's just one of those difficulty changing items. Oh, so dark, I can't see anything. I should probably get some stone, you know, get a basic house started. I can make a furnace. I might have the materials necessary to make and um, an anvil already, which would be quite nice. Push down a torch and start flattening out an area for my house. Yeah, so far I'm pleasantly surprised about um, calam Calamity. I am having trouble speaking right now. Jeez. But yeah, I've been really enjoying Calamity from the... a little bit of actually played it, and that's... Corrupter. Okay, apparently it was low health. I didn't even realize. But yeah, I am used to Crimson. I've pretty much only played Crimson. Played Corruption a little bit, but Crimson has just always been my, prefer my preferred evil. That's why I decided to pick Corruption, because you know, I thought I'd change it up a little bit. Now I don't want to 
Don't pick my favorite until I actually play both of them. There are benefits to both, of course. Okay. I'm getting combo, but... Looks like there's a lot more enemies in Calamity. Maybe it's just Revengeance mode. One of the two. Or both. I'm getting practice in. Yeah, that was a good dog. Yeah, the start to this episode is going... Okay, I mean, I got a bunch of silver. Other than that, nothing too special. Of course, we're only a couple minutes in at this point, but... What can you do? Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna get to building the house and, uh... Maybe we can get some weapons. Okay, so it's now daytime. I have cleared out a little area for the house, so let's just start building. I'm just gonna build a basic wooden house for now. Um, I might spruce it up a little bit eventually, or I'll just build a completely new house uh, out of the different materials and a different location. We'll see what happens when we get there. I'm just gonna leave the other stuff. What's this? Unreal Flask with the Alchemist. A legendary weapon? Brutus Flask of Arena. Oh my gosh. That sick. What is that? I love this thing. I just killed a- I killed a purple slime. I thought I saw it drop something, but I didn't think it was going to be a weapon or anything. Test it out. So we got. I think I think my summon killed the wolf run. I don't think it was me. So many chests in the summon jungle though. This is really good. Honestly, I think I can hand a spear. Wow. Okay, so I think the first boss I'm gonna fight is gonna be the king slime. Um, I'm not gonna cheese the king slime by using the rope. I just don't think that's necessary. I'm just going to use the flask, which seems to be really good against it. Um, I think it's going to do well against the King Slime as well. I got my Squirrel Staff out. Um, just wooden armor. I don't think I'll need anything more than that. I um, mean, let's just hope that it's not significantly more difficult to claim any. This is the only one I have. Okay. I probably should have prepared her in an uh, arena. But it seems like we're absolutely demolishing this guy. Okay, he does. Oh. Okay. Okay. I see. Interesting. So, he teleported on us and we died. That's what happened. Um, maybe just go for the Desert Scorchin. Actually, wait, if I die to the King Slime, I probably won't be able to defeat the Desert Scourge. I need an armor upgrade, that's what I need. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna grind out Wolfrons, though, after maybe going to the desert. Get the, um, good summons. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I was going to, to the, uh, desert, and on my way out of my house, I killed a bunny, and I think I got a myth- yeah, I got a mythical Tome of Order. 10 magic damage. I don't know how rare these things are, but I feel like they can't be common, like... I'm getting so many weapons just from killing enemies. And this thing seems pretty good, too. This is going really well. Playthrough, just in general. I think it isn't that strong. Well, it does explode. Yeah, this thing's pretty good. This is- you know what this is? This is the perfect IP through killing weapon. It just sticks to the eye and explodes. Yeah. Gonna be great. What is that? I've cyst. I don't know what that does. I'm gonna kill it. it looks kind of weird. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. It, it turned into something. I mean, it turned into something, but at least it's theme is great. I don't know if it all would be enraged, or enraged if I read the corruption. It doesn't seem that good, we might win. Uh oh, I don't know what's going on. Slap is, slap is happening, slap is spawning. It, it just... It did something. I got a lot of worm tooth. Worm tooth, worm teeth. Okay, well... You see, that boss doesn't seem that difficult. That's an easy enough boss, honestly. I think if I just build an arena, I should be fine. Like, I'll just set up some platforms. Because I'm going to have to set up platforms for the Eve of Worlds anyway. So I'll just, yeah, build a small arena over the corruption. Wait for either another hive cyst, I think it was, to spawn. Or maybe we could do the Eater of Worlds. I do have a lot of vile mushrooms. And a lot of rotten chunks. See, I already have 16. That's enough to summon the, um, the Eater of Worlds right now if I wanted to. But we're in good shape. Okay, so I found the Hive Sist right there. Got the three platform arena right there. Let's go. I put some campfires on the arena. I got Iron Skin and Swiftness Potions just to add a little bit of defense and you know, all that stuff. No. Oh. I hope I can actually win this fight. I think I'm going to use this uh, magic weapon that I have here uh, until I run out of mana, and then I'll use the flask. Okay. That's a good thing to keep in mind. Um, first of all, I forgot to drink my potions. And second of all, he shoots out enemies that I think they were instantly destroyed last time. Which is why I couldn't kill them. Oh, there. Oh, I'm still here. Okay. Um. That hurt me. Yeah, that hurts a lot. Oh my gosh. So, I'm gonna hold off on the hide find, at least for now. I'm thinking, before we do that, I'm gonna want a better armor set and the desert summon that I keep talking about. So, let's do that as soon as possible. Also, life crystals. I mean, I'm still at 100 HP. Maybe if I go down to the underground jungle, there'll be some easy life crystals. Well, one can hope. Alright, this makes complete sense. But anyway, I'm gonna go into the desert. And, uh, yeah, see what we can do. Um, wait. Okay. What is this? I got completely scammed. I swear, I had no idea the desert just ended right there. I thought I just walked into a full-fledged desert biome. But nope, it's just a desert right next to a snow biome. It's like 30 tiles long that goes into a forest. At least there was a wolf run. Well, I guess I'll just keep walking then. Alright, looks like I found the actual desert this time. And yes, the desert feather. That's exactly what I need. Okay, and this isn't really an actual desert. Okay, well, I don't know why my deserts are so bad, but uh, I guess we're gonna have to deal with it. Maybe there's a desert on the right side of the world. I mean, there should be. Goblin Scout as well, with two Goblin Scouts. We're gonna need those for Goblin Invasions. Assuming one doesn't spawn naturally, of course. Okay, ooh. Oh, an energy core. I think I need that for um, the Wolfron armor. If I'm not mistaken. Also, I need these antline mandibles for the desert. I forget the name. Like, desert scourge? Let me check. Yeah, Desert Scourge. Okay. I really didn't think that was actually the name. Yeah, basically I'm just gonna go back and forth here and collect a bunch of desert stuff. 
Um, okay. I found something really nice and that's a big fish. What is this? Okay, it hurts. That thing. Paper pluck? Oh. Riches. There's like a whole new biome here. I'll make a mana star. Gotta get those. 17 more game. And there's another star, I can make another master. I'm gonna hit something with these. The catfish. Seems like it's hitting it twice or something. Does it release like... forms? No. This is cool, I don't know what it is. But I think this is like... Okay. Well that's interesting, I'm gonna have to go back there. I think that's something... It might be the Acid Rain. I know Acid Rain is an event in Calamity. I mean, I've seen videos on it before, and I think that might be where it happens, but we're gonna have to see. So I don't want to leave this video off without destroying any bosses, so I think I'm gonna fight probably the Eater of Worlds. Or maybe the Eye of Cthulhu. We'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay, so before the boss fight, I want to make two things. First of all, the Sun Spirit Staff, which is what I was talking about. As you can see, if I use it, it summons, well, star above me. That will shoot lasers at enemies. Other thing I wanted to craft is some Wolfron armor. I can get the Wolfron mask. There's a bunch of stuff. I think I'm going to get this one. The 6% increased uh, minion damage and plus 1 maxed minion. Crap that. I do lose defense, but uh, I gain a minion slot. Actually, lose a decent amount of defense, so better be worth it. Now, I highly doubt it's strong too. I can't summon two of these, so I'm gonna have to make something else. I guess I got my squirrel out. That's all I can really think. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Um... Yeah, I suppose we can uh, start the fight. Okay, so I'm at the Corruption Arena, which means it's time for the Eater of Worlds. Now, I'm actually going to be using my wooden armor instead of the Wolfron um, helmet that I just made. Simply because in Calamity, there's a special, I guess, feature that goes along with the summons. You have to be holding out a summon staff or summon weapon in order for your summons to do full damage. And I feel like I could do a lot more damage if I just used these two weapons that I have here instead of going full summoner. I mean, once I use the full set, I'll probably, um, once I get the full set rather, I'll probably use that. But for now, I'm just gonna go kind of mixed classes. So let's start. As you can see, my um, Sun Spirit staff is pretty good, it's, it's in action. But let's spawn the Eater of Worlds, and I do not expect him. He's broken. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Okay. You know... I don't think that was supposed to happen. Yeah, I don't think... He definitely wasn't supposed to spawn like that. I forgot to drink my potions again, but uh, yeah, that was kind of glitched. I mean, the Eater of Worlds, the worm food, summoner for it, it's not, it's not expensive, so I'm not too bothered about it, but I would have kind of liked a fair fight. Whatever, let's just see if there's a, um, a hive cyst around that I can um, put the hive mind again, you yeah. know? Let's see if we can beat it, because I think uh, the trick to these Calamity boss is just repetition. You gotta keep trying. You can't, can't give up. 
Oh, I need those wolf runs. I don't think it's nighttime, so this won't. Yeah, the suspicious, suspicious looking guy won't work. Just one more check for wolf runs, and then. They're not wolf runs, uh, the hive cyst. And if we don't find any, I guess we'll, uh, we'll end the video, because at this point, I have no idea how long the video is going to be, but I'm guessing it'll be around half an hour. Just pretty long, so. Might just have to end on a low note, which is always bad, but, uh. Sometimes you gotta do it. Not a complete low note, though. I didn't beat any bosses, but I did get two really cool weapons. And I did progress a decent amount. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next Terraria video. Bye everyone. Also leave any suggestions you have for this series or for Terraria or even Minecraft, whatever you want, in the comments down below. And I hope to see you in the next video.